All right, time to bounce around some more topics. We call it face off. Iowa wrestling heads to the NCAA tournament as the heavy favorite to bring home a national title. Spencer Lee says he's returning for his senior season. That's great news. Lee is a lot like Luca Garza. Shorter. Not sure you can find shorter. A, yeah, a lot shorter, but not sure you can find a better ambassador for your sport. Yeah, Lee will be a four time champion, and that's great. He's great. But this year is all about Iowa taking back the team title it had planned to claim last year. The Hawkeyes will dominate. Yep. The NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament will take place in San Antonio. Hawkeyes and Cyclones are both in. Not sure how far they'll go, but always fun when local teams are competing with former local high school players. Yeah, exactly. Iowa likely a five or six seed. Iowa State seven or eight. Lisa Bluter and Bill Fennelly are both great coaches. Both have All-American players. I'd love to see one or both of them make a run to the Sweet 16. Brett McMurphy reported this week that Nebraska was trying to get out of playing at Oklahoma in football this fall. Man. Huskers apparently looked into scheduling a lesser opponent at home. You can imagine how this went over on social media. Nebraska eventually reversed course and will play the Sooners in September. When Nebraska agreed to this game, the football program was in a better place yeah. than it is now, but there is still no way Nebraska could back out. It would be such a bad look. Even with financial considerations of trying to add a home game post pandemic, no way yeah. it, would, it would be embarrassing. Big Red fans and former players all agree have to play this and they will play this. Boy State basketball tournament is in the books. Four new champions crowned. John, you were there. Looked like everything went off without a hitch. Yeah, Chris Cuellar and the boys in Boone did a good job. Planning a tournament during a pandemic is not easy. Atmosphere was good despite limited fans, and I'm glad all the games were played. No cancellations due to COVID, and the kids got to finish what they started three to four months ago. More